Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. <laughs> In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, how to choose the best sciatica exercise for your particular pain. Right, and, and this is uh, this is something we have not addressed in this particular way yet because we talk about one of the most common ways to uh, treat it and cure that leg right. pain, but it doesn't always work, and this is going to help explain why and what you can do. Yeah, we're going to show you some different ways to go at it right. because uh, if you if you have, particularly if you have one type of sciatic problem. No matter what you do, you have to treat that first, or the other, it won't get better. Right, I mean, and we'll explain that in just a minute. Yeah. But so we're talking about sciatica. If you're, you're not really sure of that term, you probably are, but if not, it's pain that starts typically from the back and goes down the leg, and typically, oftentimes, to the foot. And usually, usually one leg. Right. Um, it doesn't have to go all the way down to the foot. It might just go to the calf sure. if, it, if it's not as bad. Right. And it's usually one side, mm -hmm. one sided. So um, that's that's the how it usually presents itself. Right. Oftentimes it's worse with with sitting or bending those types of things. But but not always. It depends on the, the person. But and in this case, we're talking about sciatica. That's probably coming from a herniated or a bulging disc. Right. Right. So we're gonna give you a close look. Here we've got the spine. We're gonna look and this. What we're looking is at L4, L5 in this particular case, because that's where the model is, which is going to be right about just above the belt line. Are you got that focused in, Lonnie? Thank you. So right here, if you look at this, the disc is never red, but you know this is just for the model, so it uh, point, brings that out. And right there, you see this bulge. Is that pretty clear, Lonnie? So here we've got a bulged or herniated disc, and you can see it pushing into this nerve. Now this nerve doesn't stop right here like the model actually goes down in, uh, joins the sciatic nerve and goes all the way down uh, into the foot or the ankle depending on which nerve it is. Here we got L3 or L4, L5. So the bulge does not always occur in the same spot in every right. person. It can occur more, we call it posterior or the back of the disc or it can be more off to the side. Now we've got a better model to show you that. Do, 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 do. I like your little singing, Brad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now we're going to look at this. Here we got L4, L5. Here's a model here. And so I'd be facing, I, I, I'm oriented just like the bones are here. Right. So I'm facing this way. And we got the, the vertebrae and we have the disc in between. And we wanted to show you what causes this generally. You know, a good healthy disc, it's not going to bulge out. Right. It, it usually happens over a long period of time. You wear out the back of the disc by bending forward like yep. this or sitting. With poor posture yep. day after day, month after month, year after year. Now look what can happen when that disc finally does become degraded and loosens up and actually falls apart and it bulges out. Now this one's going straight to the back, but sometimes it will go off to the side. Right. And I think that's what you're going to show next, right, right. Brad? Yeah, we could get it to go off to the side. With, there we go, yeah. kind of like that. And depending where it comes out or where it bulges, the symptoms on how you present yourself and how you're going to treat it um, are, different. are going to differ. Right. right. So here we go. We're going to look at this model. This is pretty nice. We're going to look from the top down. And the reason this is nice is because I can take one of the vertebrae off and I'll probably have to get in closer again. If we look at the top of the disc, how is that, Lonnie? So if you look right here, look at from the top down across section, you can see the bulging red disc here and it's going to press in. Typically, it goes into the nerve. It could go into the spinal cord right here. That's a more serious situation. Uh, if you got pain down the leg, it's, it's not there. It's going into the, the nerve here, the peripheral nerve. So we're going to look at this and where this ball just three different situations we're going to look at, and this will all make sense. So I've got an incredible, accurate oh. anatomical <laughs> drawing here. If you look at this, this represents the disc, as you can see. So he's looking from the top now. Yep, just yeah, like looking right down the spine. Yep. So here we've got the red part of the disc. The inside of the disc is kind of a fluidish substance. Right. And when that starts to break through the annulus or the wall of the disc, it can push through. And here, the red spot is the bulging or herniated disc pushing into the nerve. And here, which is black. So we got three different situations. Here it's more towards the backside. 
you can see here it's more towards the side, and here it's even more towards the side. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, should we talk about how the person may appear? Right. Okay. Exactly. By the way, Brad, just real quickly, uh, in case you are new to our channel, please take oh, a second yes. to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to Facebook and like us because we like to be liked. There we go. I kept this, I kept please. This short. All right. So. so if it's in the first case where the bulge is more towards the backside, and this is probably the more common of sure. the three, you might find yourself leaning forward when you walk, or the person you may be walking like this, it's difficult to straighten up and go backwards because that bulge is getting in the way and it's putting more pressure on the nerve by the mechanics of it. Um, so what we often do, should we just go right yeah, into the we'll exercise? Yeah, we'll go right to it. Yep. Often what I'll see, Brad, is maybe Maybe it, it doesn't maybe knock you forward, but if you try to go back, mm -hmm. there's no, there's hardly any movement right. there. And you'll see that when you lay down like this, you get down and you can do this on a f hard floor or you can do it on a bed if you have to. Sure. Yep. Um, but you'll start doing a press up like this and you can't go up very high. Right. Um, it'll hurt or it's just, there's not much movement there because uh, you're a little bit locked up. Um, or you might start pushing up and your pelvis comes up like this. Sure. So that's why with, the, with this type of condition where the, the bulge is right going toward the back, you're gonna just get in this position, hands underneath the shoulders, and you're gonna start pressing up like this. And, and work it gently. Yeah, working it gently. Sometimes you might even just sit like this for a while. Um, in severe cases, you might have to start with a pillow underneath you. Sure, yeah. Um, and, and eventually take the pillow away. Right, he's talking about putting the pillow underneath the abdomen area. Yeah. So um, you're going to keep working your way up, working your way up, and eventually, hopefully, you can get up to this position. And meanwhile, what you're hoping to see is the symptoms in your legs should be getting improving. Right. So the, with, a, with a disc problem, the more your symptoms spread out, the more the pain goes further down the leg, the worse it's getting. Right. The more it narrows up or centralizes, what we call, where the pain goes out of the leg and maybe goes into the back, then it's getting better. So that's a really good sign. So, so you need to take your time with this. You're not going to lay down and just uh, jump into it and within four or five repetitions have everything fixed. It, it may take you know some time and uh, repetitions in a couple of three days. So Brad, I, I hope it's okay if I continue here, but um, if, if you're trying this and it's not getting better, mm -hmm. maybe it is a little more off to the side. Right. And so that's when you may want to try little variations of this. Sure. So this is a case number two. Uh, you want to, which, which, which one do you want to do the banana? Sure, the banana. <laughs> so the banana one is where I, I'm going to actually, I'm having pain down this leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my hips to the opposite direction to the right. And, and I'm bringing my shoulders over this way. So what am I making myself into, right, Brad? So if you look from the top down, his body's U-shaped. They're kind of like a banana laying on its side. And actually, when you do this, some people, I've had patients, I just shift them like this, and they'll say, oh, my leg is starting to feel a little bit better already. If that's the situation, you know you're, you're on the right thing. Yep, and then in this position, you can actually try some press-ups this way, yep. too. Yep. Now, another one is the roadkill, yep. um, right? And, and that's kind of a similar situation where you're, you're bringing the leg out um, on the painful side. Right. And you bring it out like this, and I guess you look like roadkill when you do that. We don't really know how that <laughs> name got started, but it, it, was at a, it was at a continuing ed course, we learned it. And the same thing, you're going to feel maybe some relief right away. Right. And then you can go ahead and, and press up like this. Right. I just had a woman about a month ago came in, and I couldn't press up for working. I, I asked her to go in this position, and right away she said, oh, that feels kind of good. I was starting to smile. We, she did some press-ups, and she improved. I mean, by the 10th one, things were obviously better. We've got other videos on this with advanced maneuvers if you want to get a little more into this, but right. I think we should probably talk about the last one, right. Brad. And this is when the person, if you look from the side, they're, they're yeah. shifted, and they're painful. The pain would be going down this leg, and they're shifted away from the pain, and they walk like this. I've had this to myself, Bob. Maybe, oh, maybe you've experienced this. Uh, when, when, when they're like this and it's really off to the side, then we don't even do the laying down thing. No. We, we need to get the person straightened up. So if I'm this way, going to my left, I'm going to take my left shoulder, and I'm going to go to the wall. I usually use a towel, Brad. I don't know about you. Yeah. But, um... It's probably a good idea. I don't because I position them right, but it's probably easier with the towel. Yeah, I, I put it along their forearm. 
Oh, like right this. here? Yeah. Okay. It just gives a, something that, uh, a, a little, little more margarine. room. Yeah. yeah. But you do need to hike your shoulder up to give your hips some room. So now I'm shifted like this. So he's pushing. He's going to be moving the, there yeah, you go. the and, pelvis that way. And you gently work this a little bit at a time. You bump into it. If it starts to hurt, go back off and bump into it. And after about four or five repetitions, it should start to feel better and you feel like you're getting straighter and you know if the leg pain is coming up feeling better it's centralizing boy you're gold things are going to be moving the right directions so that when you're done and you're going to do probably 10 of these at the most to start you do with 10 and you can do them every hour right just like if you like get the other if ones. you do 10 of them and you feel straighter and things are better boy then you're going to do them every hour yeah yeah and once you get straight at that point, then you may go down and do the press ups. Do the, the regular press up like we started in the first. Uh, but I can tell you, I've had I've had a couple patients like this uh, over the years, uh, and one lady they were actually going to make a brace for her. Sure. And I'm like, what? <laughs> she came in. I knew right away what it was. Yeah. And they were going to make a couple thousand dollar brace for her. Custom. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I we just put her over to the wall and we straightened her out and. She ended up being pain free and didn't need the brace at all. But that has to be corrected if the person. So the the hint is, if you're you're leaning over like this, it's like you're carrying a pig or something like that. Is that that's the idea? Yeah. So you go to the wall and put the pig against the wall. So that's that's the side you put against the wall, and you put your feet out a couple feet uh, away from the wall, and you lean forward like this, bringing that pelvis uh, toward the wall. I hope you got them thoroughly confused now. <laughs> you're squishing no. the pig. Well, you got to figure out which the side that you're carrying, <laughs> the pig. So I had that same thing, anyways. But Bob, we got to we got to get to work. All right. But you know, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I really thought I wanted to bring out the old broken heart that we've got back there. And I'm I'm really pretty sure we can get this baby fixed. You know. Did you break somebody's heart, Brad, or no, did they break no, your heart? No, Bob, Bob, <laughs> Bob. You know the old saying, we can fix just about anything, anything except, except for, for a broken heart. But we're working on it. Thanks.